Bonjour, today I'm going to present the story of my 2016-17 academic year Erasmus study abroad placement at the Université Lille 2. Lille, the fourth city of France with a population of approximately 220,000, is situated in the north of France in the région Nord. Nord as a region is famous for several things, including beer, a very smelly cheese called Maroil, and being the finish for the iconic Paris-Roubaix cycle race. In comparison with other French cities, Lille has some very Flemish links due to its closeness to Belgium. This can be seen in the architecture in the heart of the city at La Grande Place. In particular, La Vieille Bourse, which was the Chamber of Commerce and Industry in the 1910s. I chose to come to Lille not only for the culture and the fact that with superb transport links to Europe I could visit many other cities in nearby countries, but the fact that the Metropolitan of Lille is one of France's top, top student cities with over 110,000 students. Furthermore, l'Université Lille 2 Droit et Santé has a campus specifically for students studying law and health studies. It is highly reputed in France as one of the best universities to go to for sports studies. I was interested to go here as being able to speak fluent French already, it would give me the perfect opportunity to immerse myself fully in another culture as well as being able to see another type of learning and the potential to learn different and new things as well as develop my knowledge of sports science which should help me for my dissertation and studies in third year at Coventry. I managed to immerse myself in France by joining a rugby team, Le Rugby Club de Roubaix. Uh, this allowed me to meet people other than students and I feel like this was a massive benefit in, in, in improving my self-confidence early on as being able to you know, speak French all the time, you know, having, having friendly people around you who would sort of help you out, you know, training two or three times a week. It was really good fun and it almost took my mind off some of the stresses that we you know moving to a new country can have. In addition to playing, I also coached uh, a rugby team. This was at Iris Rugby, which is at the very centre of Lille. Uh, this was part of a placement organised by the university. Uh, I really enjoyed doing this placement. I got to, again, meet lots of different people that I would never have got the opportunity to otherwise, as well as being able to, you know, coach a group of, of under 14s. Uh, they, they also gave me a big insight into what it's like in Lille and, you know, sort of understand a bit more about what it's like to be a young person in, in the city. I feel like this, these two experiences of both coaching and playing really helped me at the beginning of my time in Lille to, to immerse and to settle in and feel a lot more at home as I obviously got to meet a lot of people and made a lot of friends very quickly, which was excellent. Of course, one of the main experiences I had doing a study of placement abroad was in fact the studying. Uh, it's very, very different to what we have in uh, in the UK uh, as in the, for the first two years of university, you do a thing called STAPS, which is their equivalent of the French equivalent of sport and exercise science. Uh, and then once you've done this, your third year, you almost specify a little bit, so it's almost like doing a pre-masters. Uh, this is what I chose. I chose to do entraînement sportif, which is a combination of well, I say a combination. The three uh, jobs, the prospects that most of my friends wanted to do were a uh, strength and conditioning coach, sports psychologist, and like a, just a general coach, uh, which are the the three jobs that I I'm looking into do as well. Um, we're in small classes of forty as Obviously, the main group of third-year students, let's say there's 200, is split into four different, four or five different groups. Uh, this made it really enjoyable. It allowed me to meet everyone very quickly. Uh, it almost helped me settle in as well, being able to chat with people. Uh, the Secondly, the other big difference is the 30 hours a week of lectures, including four hours on Saturday morning. This, as you can imagine, you know, the first couple of weeks was absolutely horrendous, and I did not enjoy the Saturday morning 8 till 12 as I was used to having my Saturday lie-ins or, you know, getting up and watching some sport. So that wasn't ideal. Um, furthermore, this should hopefully help me with the 30-hour week, should help me next year at Coventry. It should actually almost encourage me to study because rather than getting bored at times, potentially, you know, not having lectures, at, you know, have maybe having, you know, two days off in between lectures, you know, it encouraged me to do some work. So that's really good as well. Uh also, there's a lot more practical-based lessons. So, for example, in our strength and conditioning class, we would have a you know a couple of sessions, maybe on a Monday and Tuesday. You might have a couple of hours of lectures on you know certain aspects that you might want to work on an athlete, and then come the Thursday and the Friday, we would be in the gym. You know, you know, somebody would take the class. They would create a session. You know, if they have 15 minutes before they create the session, you bring it in and you take the class for it. Warm up. You know, you give the list of objectives. And this I found really, really interesting. 
as I think that strength and conditioning is a potential job for me and being able to see what it's almost like in a professional aspect, you know, what it would be like working day to day with athletes, it really helped me see that I would probably really enjoy doing this as a job. Uh, finally, there's a very different exam style as well. The exams consisted mostly of essay questions, which I'm terrible at, but hopefully having done them in French this year and having you know done 15 exams this year, it's almost given me lots and lots of exam practice. It's probably almost more exams than I did at A-level, so hopefully this will allow me to perform a lot better in exams next year. It's also very interesting, the exam style, as for le lectures like physiology, we had two different teachers and we got questions from each one, so it was 10 points for each question because in France, the, the exams aren't marked with a percentage. They're marked by... Uh, number of points it's out of 20 and then they'll grade you from that uh, and this I found really different and actually almost quite quite a challenge because I was used to doing maybe a few more shorter answers to the one two markers and this is where I'd get most of my points in exams where here actually you had to really know the facts to be able to get a good mark and I thought this was really interesting. Another part of the uh, the Erasmus experience was the the opportunity that I got during holiday times uh, to go and visit other cities in Europe. It was ideal to come to a French university as they get um, uh, February half terms and October half terms. So this was, you know, a couple of weeks extra to go and uh, to get a bit of holiday. It was, uh, I managed to visit all these amazing cities, uh, as you can see listed on the slide. Um, really enjoyed it. It's allowed me to see a lot more of Europe and maybe understand a bit more uh, about, you know, some of the differences and it's almost helped me get out of the uh, the bubble of the UK and I feel a lot more more rounded because of it all. Having done a third year abroad, most of the friends that I've met and all my classmates are all thinking about their future prospects, which in turn made me obviously think about them as well, though I had never really done so before. Uh, in addition, we also had a module on this uh, about future prospects where we were given a job opportunity and uh, we had to write a CV and a cover letter for it. So it did get me thinking, but I feel like the two jobs that I wanted to do before I started university was either a coach or a strength and conditioning coach. And while at university, I've always really enjoyed the psychology aspect. So that obviously has been put in there as well. So it hasn't really changed too much, though. What has changed is the, the option of living abroad. I feel the fact that I've had such a good time this year and it's been so easy to get along with everyone and, you know, live in France. It's almost made me think that I could potentially live abroad and it's given me the confidence to do something like that. Um, though, as I say, my future job is still undecided, but it's between strength and conditioning coach, uh, so, uh, sports psychologist and uh, coaching. Having experienced different types of lectures and the sheer quantity, as I spoke about earlier with the 30 hour week, I feel as though I will find, hopefully, motivating myself in co next year to go to lectures and to do some of the extra study relatively easy. Though, regarding the independent extra study, I feel like I could struggle with this as with having so many lectures in France, there's not a lot to do outside because all the theories are already covered. So this could be something I struggle with in the early parts of the year next year, but hopefully we'll get over that relatively quickly. Uh, furthermore, having already done third year study, hopefully a lot of the same information will be covered and should also help a lot to be concentrated in class, having already done the work. And it's almost going to be like, hopefully going to be like revision, which should again help me get really good marks. Uh, and in addition, as I've mentioned as well, with the exams, the exams, hopefully, you know, if there's some long answer questions and things like physiology, you know, you have to describe some of the cycles used for certain things. Hopefully... I'll be able to do all these things, though I've only done them in French at the moment, you know, translating them shouldn't be too difficult. I feel as though I've changed a lot personally this year, uh, for mostly the fact that I've become a lot more confident. I mean, doing, you know, oral presentations in front of a class of 40 people you don't know early on in the year, introducing yourself so many times to people, you know, it's increased my confidence. I feel a lot more outgoing because I've had to put myself in a lot of uncomfortable situations. Well, I say uncomfortable, I mean, they weren't uncomfortable, but I felt uncomfortable. Um, and now hopefully this should allow me to help integrate next year at Coventry, because obviously I'm going to be joining the current second years, and I don't don't think I know any of them. So it's going to be almost like doing another Erasmus study abroad placement. So it should be really interesting and hopefully really good fun. I've also been able to meet, make a lot of new friends, meet lots of people from different backgrounds, 
and I've also been able to learn about a lot of current events, obviously with the French president elections coming up at the moment. Uh, there's obviously been a lot of talk about that, so I feel like I've got an excellent knowledge of the uh, French political system, so hopefully that's something that could be taken as useful for coming out of, uh, coming from this placement as well. Uh, furthermore, I also feel as though my fluency has reached a new level, as I now think in French a lot of the time, certainly when in France I think in French all the time, uh, which obviously helps uh, with my talking. Uh, in addition, I have the ability now to tell jokes, you know, make people laugh, and I have a bit of a uh, bit of banter with other people. So obviously, that really helps integration as well, rather than being this sort of shy person who struggles to communicate at the side, like I was a little bit at the start of the year. Finally, all the opportunities I've had to go and visit other countries in Europe and other cities, I feel like it's really helped me, you know, broaden my horizons, understand a bit more about Europe, and I feel for people that are on the fence about an Erasmus year abroad. I think you've got to go go and do it. I've had such an excellent time and I would thoroughly recommend it to anyone that's even thinking about taking this amazing opportunity.